that's it guys hopefully last build didn't come out too bad uh, did a lot of paint work even on the other side but uh, sure feels like a normal plane now the ass doesn't even feel heavy I mean I really noticed it with a half a roll of pennies back there before too it's like this just doesn't feel right so anyway it came out pretty well uh, I did the underside I painted repainted that up because I pulled all the lights and stuff out so we got rid of all that stuff got rid of the hobby king light set this particular model really didn't need that anyway uh, if she flies I'll be a happy guy uh, the, had a lot of work to do on the swing though the, this thing was really really tweaked uh, like a sprung door man it was just but uh, put weights and stuff on it and let it sit for about two days with weights on it and, and some heat treatment and some reinforcement that I did uh, underneath the wing I get sun here there's reinforcement some reinforcement underneath the decal and you see I've got reinforcement running up through the wing there uh, where it flexed and I did that on on both sides and we come up with what looks to be a pretty true airplane when I look right down it, it looks pretty good. The tail is uh, even sides, both sides. I mean, it, it really looks looks pretty square. My big concern is the motors, making sure that those are lined up right. Uh, this one still looks a little bit down. <laughs> Give it a throttle coupling and remember to pull back the elevator a little bit just in case it wants to do that nose dive again. Uh, that was a weird one. And uh, anyway. Wish us luck for the next time around. She came out pretty good, guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Okay, Garmin, stop recording.